Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now there's no exercise better than the heart than reaching down and lifting people up. Now I got to share a dose of care with the team at the Ihata Shelter where uplifting is their main goal. With 13 years of service in the community, the Ihata Shelter has become a household name in the Manenberg area and its dedicated team is the backbone of its operations. Nurana, I have to say how beautiful the Ihata Shelter is. Why was the Ihata Shelter started and how did you make your vision a reality? What inspired it was just the need from the community. The organization started out as a resource foundation, um, servicing the needs of the surrounding community. But everyone that was coming through were abused women, asking for help or housing or food. And I think the founder, Khadija Esop, then decided that this needs to be a shelter for abused women. And so we built from there. What services does Ihata provide the community? So the services we provide are, I'd like to say, holistic. We look at the whole woman and her family because we can all run around blaming perpetrators, but nothing changes. And so we help the woman, we help the perpetrator, and we help the children. The services include psychosocial help, from therapy to referrals with, with some of the perpetrators. If their partners ask, we'll refer them for substance use treatment, anger management, conflict resolution, and those sorts of things. And then on site for the women, there's education educational programs, counselling programs, skills development, career development. And then for the children, we've got an on-site creche and then we transport the bigger children to school. And then the older children, we have a youth development academy. What does a dose of care mean to you? And what inspires you to continue doing the work that you do? So oftentimes, shelters, orphanages are forgotten. And so a project like a dose of care means so much because it means that somebody out there is thinking of us, thinking of our victims who need all of the care that they can get. And so the dose of care contributes to what we are offering and enhances it. And we are really grateful for that. I believe that if we change things at the grassroots level, then we change families and then we change communities and then communities change society and then society changes the nation. The shelter is a youth development program. So as a, as a youngster, as a teenager, I have been exposed to a lot of the terrible things on the Cape Flats. That is how I got introduced to the youth development program. And at the Yata Shelter, through the youth program, I began to actually develop a purpose in life. And that is where I wanted more for myself. And that is why I feel I'm still here at the Yata Shelter, doing the best that I can do. So I think a dose of care for me would just be in continuous help until the individual is strong enough to actually face life on their own. I've been working here 13 years now at the Hata Shelter. I do the cooking, I supervise, and see that the premises is clean, see that the ladies have the breakfast in the morning, and I have this lunch and this supper. And I see to the children also. I also was in the environment like was happening to abused ladies, so I was also abusing them. So I love working with them, like to motivate them. A dose of case means a lot. If I can do more, 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 I'm willing to do more, more, more. Nuran and team, thank you so much for having me out at the Ihata Shelter here today. It's been so incredible being able just to get involved and lend a helping hand in whatever little way I could. Your united love and commitment to the community is truly embedded within everything Ihata does. So much so that Panado has seen the work that you do and has decided to share a dose of care with you to the value of 5,000 Rand. <laughs> How is this dose of care going to be able to help all the work that you do here at Ihata? It's, it's a contribution toward um, the health and well-being of women and children. So thank you to Panado, we appreciate it. Now you also have paid forward this dose of care to a nominee of your choice. Who is it and why have you nominated them? I nominated the Lily Haven Place. It's also a project of the Ihata Care Group. Um, and it's because we've extended our circle of care to elder persons. And so Lily Haven will benefit and the elder persons will benefit. Now continuing our giving spirit, it's time for us to head over to the Lily Haven Senior Centre to keep on giving. Standing in the gardens of Lily Haven, I truly see how tremendous and impactful the work that you're doing is. How important is the work of Lily Haven to the greater community? 
I would say it's very important for the residents and the community. We focus on the elderly and we focus on for those who doesn't have a place to stay. Residents, family really don't know where to take them, then they place them here and we make sure that they save. And it is exactly for these reasons that Afternoon Express has decided to match Pernado's dose of care and is sharing a dose of care to you to the value of 5,000 Rand. Thank you, thank you. Faye, how is this gonna help Lily Haven? So the dose of care would assist Lily Haven because we have a crisis with chairs and tables, so we thought we we're gonna purchase this. And because when the residents' family comes, in, there is tables and chairs for them to enjoy the visit. Supporting each other in times of pain and stress is really encouraged. Showing some kindness and sharing some care is something anyone can do on any day. There are those who care for others, ask for nothing in return, but may need some care themselves. If you feel that someone in your community deserves some recognition for all they do, then Pinado cannot wait to hear from you. Simply reply to the Afternoon Express Facebook, Instagram and Twitter pages and tell us who they are, what they do for the community and why they should receive some care with the hashtag PinadoSA and the hashtag a dose of care. They can stand a chance of winning a dose of care to the value of 5,000 Rand from Pinado. Afternoon Express will then add another 5,000 Rand towards the charity or nominee of choice so they too can share in some care. Don't miss the Pinado hashtag a dose of care competition running from the 1st of August 2022 right through to the 5th of October 2022 right here on Afternoon Express. T's and C's apply.